What is up guitar friends? Welcome back to a new episode. In this episode we're going to take a look at some guitar players who are completely inspiring. So let's get inspirational. All right, so every art form, no matter if it's music, art, uh, just creating anything, writing, uh, you'll always be inspired by other artists before you. It's kind of one of the reasons you begin anything in the first place. And then even as you advance, you're always gonna find people that inspire you as they come out. Or if you need some inspiration, like let's say you have writer's block, you wanna go back to some of your heroes and listen to some of their stuff. And that can also be a great way to get inspired to write more music. So that being said, I figured I would bring my five uh, guitar players that really kind of set the foundation for me as a young guitarist, people who inspired me and then continue to inspire me as I grew. These are guys that are pretty much legends. Um, if you don't know them or heard of them, I highly suggest checking them out. Uh, their styles are incredible. Some of the most iconic riffs of all time are written by these guys. Uh, yeah, so if you don't know who these guys are, Go check out their music after. Uh, it'll definitely help you out, and I'm pretty sure it'll be inspiring considering their rock god status. All right, starting off the list hot. We're coming in with the god, Jimmy Page. Uh, he was the absolute reason why I started playing guitar. I loved everything about the multiple styles that he was able to put together, his onstage presence, the weirdness, the kind of being like a black magic wizard. Uh, <laughs> everything about it was super cool. I just love how he could do metal kind of stuff. Well, metal for back then, which, you know, would then translated uh, later on. Uh, bluesy riffs, acoustic riffs, classical guitar. It's just all mashed into one awesome cosmos that is Led Zeppelin. So some of the coolest Jimmy Page riffs, Heartbreaker comes to mind, Immigrant Song comes to mind. Check those two out, super cool. Uh, the Ocean is also another really, really cool one. Uh, if you go in acoustic, you can go uh, going to California is great, Tangerine, and obviously we can't name Jimmy Page riffs without saying Stairway to Heaven, which might be the most famous riff of all time. So yeah, first one, Jimmy Page. All right, so second on my list of guys who inspired me, who might be able to inspire you, is Alex Lifeson from Rush. Uh, this guy can do it all, kind of like Jimmy Page. He has the full repertoire of music, just from metal, prog rock, blues, clean guitar stuff, classical guitar stuff. I mean, there's just nothing that Alex Lifeson can't do. He is immense. All right, so some Rush riffs that Alex Lifeson uh, wrote that are super cool. Uh, obviously the full 2112, you can't go wrong with 21 minutes of insane music. Uh, again, just the full spectrum of guitar playing is available in that. Uh, Limelight, super popular song one of the coolest opening riffs and i love the way uh he mixes that chorus with the verse super good guitar solo in the middle yyz just instrumental i mean it showcases everybody in the band obviously rush super talented across the board but tons of great guitar work in that uh one of my personal favorites is red barchetta uh check that one out just a ton of really cool just awesome riffs like just also with the delay and reverb, the soundscape, yeah, it's amazing. And if you've never heard La Villa Strangiato, I highly suggest checking this out. It is just a masterpiece of guitar work. It's absolutely amazing. So check that out too. Alex Lyson, awesome. All right, so I know I'm probably gonna get for this, which sucks, but uh, my third guitar player on this list who I absolutely love and kind of really altered my uh, guitar playing is Mark Tremonti. I know, I know, Creed, it's not that cool. And uh, maybe it's because of Scott Stapp or the lyrics or the Jesus thing or whatever it was. But uh, in the late 90s when he came out, if you were a guitar player, I don't know, I feel like you kind of had to like this guy. His combination of styles was great. You know, just bringing back that like old school rock, hard rock, metal thing was really cool. Um, one of the coolest things I love about Mark, especially as his career, you know, arced with his own band Tremonti and Alter Bridge, is the clean guitar tones he gets are just so super pristine and his finger pick kind of style. It's awesome when you combine that with the super heavy, just power chord riffage that he can do too. Those two things together are just awesome. 
So some cool riffs by Mark Tremonti you want to check out. Uh, his solo project, I love the song You Waste Your Time. It's just a super cool uh, opening metal riff. The song is great and a killer solo at the end. Um, Cauterize is also a super cool song. It's got like this speed thrash metal type thing and then into like some, uh, I don't know, even like a blast beat sort of chorus. I don't even know how to describe it. It's a really cool mashup of a bunch of different genres in one. That's really cool and a really cool uh, solo at the end as well. Um, when you go to Alter Bridge, check out the song Metal Lingus. That one's really cool. And as far as Creed is concerned, one of my all time favorite just compilation of riffs is the song Torn. Awesome clean guitar intro. Uh, it's one of my favorites. And then, you know, just the breakdown, the, the bridge and everything. Just a lot of really cool work there. And kind of like a B-side one, this was on Scream 3, is a song called Is This The End? Uh, that really showcases that clean guitar style he has and the finger picking in the beginning. Really cool, great song. Mark Tremonti, one of my faves, man. Not afraid to say it. All right, so we're getting close to the end. The next guitarist on this list, a uh, little bit of a curveball here, but one of my all-time favorites and just an incredible guitar player is Stevie Ray Vaughan. Now, the pure blues sound that he has, I mean, I always love the blues, but there's something about the way he plays it, which I'm sure most people would agree with, is just so filled with emotion. It's like the guitar is just being taken over by some other entity. It's a... I don't know, it's super amazing. Every time I heard him play, it was one of those things where I was I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. And it almost made you not even want to play guitar. <laughs> it was that powerful. Uh, he's one of my all-time favorites. I love trying to even learn some of his riffs. Even the simple stuff that you, well, at least sounds simple, is hard. <laughs> uh, it's amazing. The legend that he is, everything about him, the hat, the SRV strat, it's just so cool, man. All right, so some songs, riffs by the legendary Stevie Ray Vaughan. Let's start with Pride and Joy. Just the rhythm to that is hard to play. Uh, that's a super cool one. Lots of cool guitar stuff in there. Let's move on to Little Wing, which is like a five minute blues guitar masterpiece. Also harks back to uh, Jimi Hendrix. You know, if you heard of that guy, he's pretty good too. Uh, I also love the song, The House Is Rockin'. It's just a super upbeat, cool, bluesy song. Um, I love the song, Life Without You. It's just a super awesome ballad. And then at the end, there's just this really, really like emotional build of guitar. Um, it's a great song. And of course, we can't forget Texas Flood. I mean, it's like one of the most iconic guitar songs ever. It's incredibly hard to play. It's super cool. Texas Flood, man. So here you go. And last but not least, by any stretch, uh, it's kind of a cheat because it's two guys, but probably two people that were most important to me when I was growing up when I got into metal was Dave Murray and Adrian Smith of Iron Maiden. I know I picked two, it's cheating, but it's not cheating because this is my channel, it's my show, I can do what I want, all right? So I just felt like Adrian Smith and Dave Murray are sort of like one person <laughs> that got split apart into two amazing guitar players and they just happened to be in the same band. Um, for me, Iron Maiden was one of those things like I saw an album cover and that was it. I was hooked. I didn't even have to hear a song. I was done. That was cool. And then I heard a song and I was like, oh my God, this is the coolest thing I've ever heard in my life. And then I saw a video and it was even cooler. Like I, it was just every step of the way I got more and more entrenched into what is Maiden. Um, but yeah, these guys can absolutely shred. Their solos are amazing. The riffs are crazy good. Like every album just is like tons of guitar riffs. They're still doing it to this day. Watching them play, just run around the stage and do all the antics and everything. I, it just made me want to be that like performer and also that good at guitar at the same time. It was really cool. But yeah, these two guys, I'm going to try to pick five riffs. It's really hard, but we're going to pick five. Uh, obviously there's a lot more, so let's get into that. All right. Our five Maiden riffs are going to be, and in no particular order, are going to be, we'll just start from the from the top, Number of the Beast, I mean, <laughs> do we even have, that's it, list over. Now, Number of the Beast, I mean, it's super cool, the riff is great, it's fun to play, it's dark, but also kind of punk rock, metal, there's two great solos in the middle, you know, everything you could possibly want in a metal song is right there. Uh, later on, same album, Hallowed Be Thy Name, I mean, incredible guitar riffs all over the place from the clean guitars chiming sort of parts to the bridge the solos the lead lines i mean it's just crazy i that's one of the songs you hear and you're like i need to learn how to play this stuff uh moving on to aces high an incredible just high octane riff 
The whole song is just going crazy. I love that riff. Another one that's super fun to play. Wasted Years is like one of the most underrated tracks. Uh, a great, great beginning intro guitar riff. I love that one. Also just really fun uh, chord progression to play when you get into the verse and the chorus. And another lights out solo right in the middle of that song. And the best one, The Trooper. <laughs> I mean, come on. We're talking about guitar riffs, talking Iron Maiden. The Trooper is the king. Uh, one of the coolest riffs in metal history. I love playing it. It's super super cool the gallops is so iron maiden and if you learn that kind of stuff it's really cool too because uh that's something that you don't really pick up on is, is that gallop in the verse and once you do kind of get it it makes the song that much harder but it'll make you a better player if you learn how to do it maiden man oh my absolute favorite all right guys hope you enjoyed that list of guitar players who inspire me and continue to inspire me it's really important as a beginner uh, to get inspired by people so you just want to achieve uh, their, that goal more you want to learn their songs and practice harder and also even as a seasoned musician it's really good to have guys you look up to you know I, I don't think I'll ever be as good as any of the people on my list which just always drives me even playing for 20 years to just want to keep playing it's an important part of being an artist. Thanks for watching guys, really appreciate you taking your time listening to this list. If there's any guitar players I missed, which is like eight million, uh, and they inspire you, you can leave them in the comments below, that would be awesome, we could start a good conversation. If you liked this video, please give me the thumbs up. As always, please subscribe to the channel, I'll be here every week talking about guitars and music. Rock on.